Your Highness, in its current state, the Liberation Army yet suffers from disunity. We would be wise to deepen the bonds between our comrades. You have a point. Even if our new hires possess great skills, those skills cannot serve us until the unit can fight as one. Precisely. Therefore, this time, allow me to explain your options for socialization with your companions. The depth of your companions' bonds with each other is represented by the level of rapport. When rapport level is built high enough, it will cross into a new tier. With certain pairings, this may even unlock a special rapport conversation. Interesting. So you can directly observe the interactions between people who have become close companions. But how can we increase rapport? The standard method is by having characters battle together in the same unit. Additionally, depending on the rapport level, these characters may receive bonuses to certain stats. Do keep rapport levels in mind when arranging your units. Besides the camaraderie of battle, there are other ways to interact with your companions. For instance, in our previous discussion, I mentioned the feasts available at taverns across the land. Depending on the meal, the number of participants and the amount of rapport received may vary, so consider your menu selections carefully. Another option for building rapport is to give gifts to those stationed as guards in reconstructed towns. Items particularly attuned to the recipient's preferences will result in bonus rapport increases. So be sure your gifts are thoughtful ones. That makes sense. If I'm going to give a gift, I want it to be something they'll be happy with. So, greater rapport leads to stat bonuses within units, as well as visibility into our companions' personal interactions. Thank you, Joseph. What we've gone over here will surely give the Liberation Army a sturdy foundation. I expect it will. Next time we will discuss character growth and training. Our army grows ever stronger. <laughs>